Our studio guest is uh, joining us this morning, and we're talking about education. Well, actually, a uh, fundraiser uh, for St. Edward Roman Catholic School here in Twin Falls. Uh, we're at, uh, call it 923 and 37 on News Radio 1310 KLIX and News Radio 1310.com. Uh, Angela Hild is joining us from the school where she's the principal. Good morning. Thank you for having me. We should point out that this is mission work because you had a pretty decent job. What was it in Buell uh, or Filer before you left to come over here? Oh, absolutely. Yes, I was I was a teacher in Filer, and I actually was a principal at the Twin Falls School District and then just felt called to come to St. Edwards and, and have found a true passion, um, you know, with the Catholic school here. So I feel really blessed. See, I've heard her testimony in church before, so I knew that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. You, I've, I've, I've been quite vocal about it, actually. Well, we wanted to point out, uh, for people who love golf, uh, this is a good way not only to uh, exercise their golf game, but also to help out a good cause, which is the school. That's right. We, Our PTO, our parent-teacher um, organization, is putting on our King's Classic Golf Tournament on Friday, November 20th. Um, and basically, it's to support the school um, to help our technology program and, and do some building upgrades and um, just kind of give that money back to our students. Our PTO is a is our number one supporter of our school. And so they always put on some good fundraisers, and the Golf Scramble is our newest one. Now, for people who'd like to get involved, is there a, a website or a number they've got to go to? Uh, they could call the school at 208-734-3872 or even stop by the school to get any kind of flyer. Um, we also will have it on our website as well at St. Eddie, S-A-I-N-T-E-D-D. E D D I E, excuse me, dot org, and you could get it there. Um, any of those ways uh, will have flyers available for if you want to be a, a golfing, um, you know, uh, four man team, or if you'd want to sponsor a hole, or um, you know, anything like that. We'll have that available. We also have a a dinner at the end of that evening, even if you're not into golf. If you have a, a you know somebody who's into golf and they want to golf and you want to come have a have a delicious um, pig roasted dinner mm. and all the fixings, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna have we're gonna have a great time out there for sure. I was I was uh, going to say you said dinner that was the magic word. Yeah, that's uh, right. That's <laughs> right. Those are and 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 I'll tell you what we got we have a lot of good people on that dinner so it'll be delicious. So I'm not really much of a golfer myself, but I'll be there with bells on for that dinner. So that should be fun. Now we, we need to point out the school has a pretty decent census, uh, uh, but it's an it's an older building. Uh, your playground is somewhat small and cramped. Uh, uh, it also doubles as a parking lot, and so uh, any money that could come in, and if someone wanted to be uh, in the community wanted to make an endowment, for instance, no one would say no to that. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, a lot of parents uh, want to educate their children in a in a in a parochial or a Christian school setting. Uh, and you also try to help those parents out because not each and every parent can always afford uh, the cost. That's exactly right. Um, you know, we really are a nonprofit. Our goal is to be at zero every year to give back to our community as much as our community gives to us. And so that means giving tuition assistance, which I would say we're about 50% of our students receive some kind of tuition assistance. Um, whether it's a small amount or a larger amount, it's based on their need. Um, it is a calling to serve our parents. We do not turn people away for the inability to pay. Um, so that's a big piece. But you're right. Our building was built, um, you know, uh, in the early 1900s. So we're, uh, you know, very old. Um, our, our building is always looking for upgrades as far as, you know, fixing our toilets and, and you know, resurfacing, you know, backyard play areas and, and really trying to make sure that we have a safe um, you know, environment for our students. And that's our number one priority. So it, it takes a lot of people and it takes a lot of effort to do that. And our PTO putting on this golf scramble is a, a major um, stride forward for that. And uh, we should point out that the school looks a little bit like the the, the school in the movie, A Christmas Story. Yes. <laughs> it's from, from that era, really, that, that it came about. Uh, but if you could stick around for a couple of minutes, we got a couple of minutes to the break, but could you maybe spend another five minutes with us? Because we were talking off air, there may be in the next couple of years a huge need, not just for St. Edwards, but you look at all of the other Christian schools that we have in this community, there's going to be a potentially a huge need for all of them to expand. Absolutely. With that school choice right. kind of coming into play. Absolutely. I went. I was at Grace Baptist uh, School the other day because they had a, a yard sale, and it's an impressive facility. 
But again, if you start seeing another 100 families come along and say that they'd like to send their children there, you're going to be talking about a significant need to just keep building. And there's going to be need not just for more classroom space, but for more land space and all of that. Uh, Absolutely. So these are things that, that, are, that are going to be on the horizon. And it would always be nice not just to have you know, tuition money coming in, but it would be nice to have, as we say, people out there who are committed to this sort of education. To growing our community and to really building, you know, uh, for people who, for anyone who wants that Catholic education, absolutely. Um, I, You know, that's that's absolutely in our future is is either a new building or, or a new or a new facility in order to not only keep our K through, our preschool, I should say, through fifth grade, but also expand into middle school as well. And, you know, obviously, ideally, we'd love to have a high school eventually. Now that's, you know, a few years down the road, but, you know, always good to be thinking about it now and, and setting ourselves up for financial success right now. And I, I have some ideas on land where it could go already. <laughs> telling Angela off air that Benito and I this morning were having a discussion on where we would build it if we could. Uh, so there are people out there who'd like to help. Absolutely. We, just, we have not found the means yet to help, but we're <laughs> looking for it. Uh, we've got a short break coming up in just a moment. Angela Hild is joining us in studio, and she's going to spend a few more minutes with us on Top Story this morning. Uh, talking about uh, uh, really the foundation of uh, how you build formation in young people, not only through just education, but as well uh, through religious faith, and uh, how this is going to be expanding in this community, and uh, people have a, a real yearning for it. Uh, that's on the way in a couple of minutes. We're at 36 right now. It's 930. Bill Colley as well on Top Story on News Radio 1310, KLIX and News Radio 1310.com. Our studio guest is uh, Angela Hill. She's joining us from St. Edward Roman Catholic School here in Twin Falls. Uh, she's the principal at the school. Bill Colley with you as well on Top Story on News Radio 1310 KLIX and News Radio 1310 com. And we're at 37. Uh, and keeping it open, uh, any school like this is a constant fundraiser going it, on. It is, and and it's we're always looking for ways to. Um, uh, uh, like we said, offset the cost of tuition for students, but also make sure that our facilities are safe and, and upgraded and, and ready for all of our students. And, and the number one way we do that is support through our parent-teacher organization. Um, they always put on some different, org uh, some different fundraisers throughout the year. And this year we've decided to do our Kings Classic Golf Tournament out at the Blue, at the, I'm sorry, Clear Lake Country Club in Buell. And so this is a, this is their major fundraiser of the year. Um, um, you know, we want the community to come out and have a great time and enjoy it. We have a wonderful dinner at the end of the evening. Um, but the idea is just to build that community mm -hmm. well within supporting our school and and giving back to our, our students and, and supporting the community as a whole. By the way, we don't know, but you may have to bring more than a sweater for golf this year. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, it might be chilly. You might want to dress in layers for sure. I had a college professor, though, who said he had these fluorescent orange golf balls because he would play sometimes when there was snow on the ground. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. That way he could find the ball in the snow. <laughs> um, and, and, he, he, and I thought that was a wonderful idea. We have a telephone caller with us. If you don't mind, we'll take a call. No, not at all. It is uh, 935 on Top Story and at 36. And uh, caller, uh, you're on the air with our guest, Angela Hild from St. Edward Roman Catholic School. Go ahead. Yeah, good morning. And, Bill, I apologize for calling back a second time today. But, ma'am, is there any way to... for if you don't golf and not going to golf, to still go to this dinner, is there a way to get tickets to that? Absolutely. Um, we have our flyers at the school itself. And then, like I said, we are going to post it on our website as well at St. Oh, okay. Eddie, okay. S-A-I-N-T-E-D-D-I-E dot org. So you could go online and click on that. And and you all you have to do is just fill out the, the dinner portion of it. Um, and okay. you can either swing it by the office or, or give us a call and we'll get you tickets somehow, okay? Okay, that's great. Yeah, my wife and I uh, met met at St. Edward's Catholic Aww. School in, in the second grade. That's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. in well, fact, we... uh, my mom and uncles all went there. It's a great school, and they uh, her, the sister Bernita was the principal when I went there. I have heard and... her name often. Yes. <laughs> oh, she she was a saint. She was a saint. Anyway, I'll, I'll get off the phone, but. Uh, yeah, I'll, we'll get tickets and we will see you there. Well, thank you. thank you. We appreciate your support. That's wonderful. And I got to point out too, as well, our caller goes to St. Jerome, so it's likely that in a lot of the other parishes, 
they have details on this. If you need them, you can get them at your own parish office. Absolutely. We have students that honestly come from Buell, Immaculate Conception. They come from St. Jerome. We have students as far as Wendell that are from all the outlying areas. So we would love to make sure that this is including all the different um, areas in the Twin Falls area because, uh, you know, really it's a, the Catholic uh, community is vast. Uh, and we would love to have everybody support and, and frankly, just come out and have a good time. And we want to point out, too, as well, we were talking about this uh, school choice that looks like it may be on the way and may become a reality just in the next couple of years. What's going to happen is there's going to be a huge rush of parents, uh, and they'll be going, they'll be looking at all of the different Christian schools in the area, I'm sure many of them. How, do you, how are you going to cope with all of that? You know, I think what it comes down to is you support that parent's choice of what they want to do. And I know what we have to offer, and I'm confident in that offering. Mm -hmm. We have strong academics. Our teachers are just top-notch. You talk to any of our parents, and they just love our, our students. And anybody who's actually had to move away or leave are, are just devastated because they know the quality of our teachers. And then secondly, our faith-based environment is safe and loving for our students. Any of our parents, the number one thing they say about our school is that they feel that their kids are loved and well cared for. And that combination with that academic and that that loving community, you just can't beat that anywhere else. Um, so I would I would put myself in our, our school up against any other community because I feel that we have the strongest um, the strongest academics and the strongest uh, you know faith based loving environment. But you're going to have to get a lot bigger because a lot of people are going to be coming to the door saying, this is my choice. Absolutely. And, and, you know, we're looking forward to that opportunity, um, you know, kind of looking for, you know, where can we get bigger? How do, how are, do our classrooms work? Um, right now we have about 20 in each classroom and that's actually quite, you know, pretty good size. That being said, we have room for growth right now and we have room um, for students right now, but we would love to be able to expand to that junior high. We'd love to be able to explain grade levels and maybe get more teachers in per grade level. So we're definitely looking at ways to prepare ourselves for that growth. And a big high school on Pole Line Road even would be in the uh, offing maybe at some point. And we all have dreams, and, <laughs> and we pray to the Lord every day for his, his guidance and blessings. I was going to say, it has to be some central location because... You'll be bringing people in from multiple counties. Absolutely, from Jerome, from you know Castleford, from Hanson, from all the way from Buell. I mean, they'll they'll come from all over in the central Idaho area. I want to thank you for taking some time today. It, it turns out it's the principal's day off. That's all right. Sort of, if you get a day off in education. <laughs> uh, but uh, again, like Keith Thompson earlier, she made the effort to come in uh, uh, to join our program. Uh, and I do want to point out once again, if they want more details, just give the school a call. Please, yes. And our number is 208-734-3872. Again, we also um, have our website at www.saintedie.org, so you can get information there as well. Um, and we will also have uh, some speakers at, at church this, this weekend as well. All right. I want to thank you. We've got a short break on the way. It's 940 and 37.